What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl. I'm Ani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys. This here is a really quick info picture that my client did want to go for. But we're literally just going to jump right into this video and we're going to talk about some of the supplies that you need. The first thing I'm going to show you are the bundles that we're going to use. These are Allure 96 bundles in case you're wondering. So if you do want to shop with Allure 96, check the description box for any details. Some more supplies that we're going to go ahead and use. We're going to go ahead and use a closure. This closure was purchased from the beauty supply store. I also have a pair of black gloves. Some developer that we're going to use is just 40 volume developer to just help lighten the hair. And then of course we're going to use BW2 powder as our bleaching. And then the last few items are just tools, a bowl and a comb, along with a dome spandex cap to construct the wig, a wig band to help secure the wig on her head. So first I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tap into that, that BW2 powder. Make sure you protect your face. I'm using a mask just because the fumes are so intense. And I'm gonna scoop a few scoops into this red bowl that you see. This is just a bowl from the dollar store. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix that with the 40 volume developer. And I'm just gonna try to get that to a consistency that I like. I prefer more of a creamy consistency, not as thick as per se like pancake batter, but definitely like super smooth, but not super runny. And you're just gonna see me doing that. And then the next clip, you guys are gonna go ahead and see me actually actually start bleaching the hair. And the color that we're trying to, to achieve is more of a light brown tone. So as you, can, as you can see, I like to work my way up from the bottom to the top. And due to the fact that I do not have a brush, I'm going, I'm using a comb to go ahead and distribute the product. Make sure you distribute it super even. As you can see, I'm putting random highlights all through the hair, just because I want the color to be super gradient all throughout. Now, after I lighten the hair to my desired tone, to my desired color, I'm just gonna go ahead and start constructing the actual wig. Now this was a struggle because mid clip I actually broke my wig head tripod so I have to literally do all of this from my legs. So I have to literally construct this wig without a stand. It's a little difficult but the girl made it happen. So here I'm just going to go ahead and start sewing the wig, sewing the closure down. I like to sew the closure first. That is what the stitching looks like. It looks super good. It's well constructed. And then this is me showing you guys what it looks like midway through as far as me adding the bundles. Now that everything is constructed, this is what the unit looks like. It's super full, super fluffy. The color came out super freaking nice. And then after I went ahead and, and curled the hair because my client did want curls in it. I'm gonna go ahead and start packaging up her order. And as you can, guys can see, the hair looks beautiful. Some tools that I have, I have a net just to go ahead and protect the hair during the shipping process. And then I have one of my pink mailers to package the hair in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add add some of my branding options. I was pers I was looking for a postcard, but I guess I have to print out more. If you guys want a video on me printing out postcards from home, let me know. I'm 
super cheap, super effective, and you can literally do it from your at-home desk. So since I did not have any postcards, I'm of course gonna go ahead and put the business cards in there. As you guys see, I need to print more business cards, but this is one of my business cards that I'm gonna use for this particular order. And then these are little stickers. All of these branding options I do print from home. So let me, guys, let me know if you guys do want a video on that. And because my customer did want her hair to be curled, I do want to preserve, preserve those curls. So as you guys can see, I do fold the hair a specific way just so the curls do stay intact. And she can literally pull this out of her baggy and put it on her head. I did not get a clip of me installing the band for some reason. Uh, but there is a band that was added to the wig as well to help for security purposes. Everything looks super good. And now it's time to go ahead and package up this order. So as you guys can see, after I added the net, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the hair in the mailer. If it'll go in there. Make sure everything looks super crisp. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my business card. And then I'm just going to finish everything up and there it is everything came out super nice the wig came out super beautiful if you guys are interested in me creating a wig for you guys that option is now on Allure 96 but like I said if you guys do have any questions about anything check the description box because I have tons of links down there that can help you but if but if you do have more direct questions for me, you can reach out to me at shopallure96 at gmail.com for more information. Other than that, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe. I love, love, love each and every one of you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.